Okay guys, today we're going to be switching it up and doing a video that may or may not even need to be said. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Baco Laplander and giving my opinion on it. Now granted, this knife has been out for a very, or this knife, <laughs> this saw has been out for a very long time. But it is really, ever since I got it, fast become one of my bushcrafting best friends. Because that's what I feel the Laplander really is. Like many have said in the past, what I love most about this tool, or this saw in particular, is the fact that I can put it in a cargo pocket. It sits and hides away perfectly in this little cargo pocket. You guys can probably see. It just tucks away very nicely in this cargo pocket. But in an instant, I can pull it out, open it up, and just cut through pretty sizable pieces of wood with not much effort and not much time at all. So that has what made, that's what's made it my bushcrafting best friend. Because when paired with something like this battle lore, which isn't much bigger itself, it allows me to do things in bushcraft that I couldn't do before, or at least not as easily. So, we've talked about the main reason why I like this little Baco Laplander, its size. And I think the other few things that I really like and really enjoy about this saw itself is the way that Baco cut the teeth on this thing. They seem to do a very good job, whether it's dry wood or wet wood like this you see here. It just seems to go through it really well. Now, I will say this blade is a little bit more leaning toward dry and dead wood as opposed to the wet wood like this. However, it does make very quick work of either wood you happen to go through. So it it is nice for those reasons. Another thing that makes it really nice is this black coating. And initially when I got this thing, I was a little bit concerned about this coating because it felt really tacky and kind of like tractiony. But as I've used this saw more and more, essentially this coating has uh, worn to the point where it's actually a very smooth coating. I believe it actually aids in helping go through the wood so fast. And what I like is that because of the high carbon steel that the blade uses, this coating helps keep rust off. That is something that my Silky Big Boy has really struggled with. And rust really can damage your steel integrity of the saw blade. And it can also make it the blade... Um, it can also cause the blade to have more friction when going through wood. So it's nice that this blade has a really encompassing black coating on it to help it stay smooth and to keep it rust free. The other thing I like about this uh, saw is its handle. It is very compact, but also still very grippy. You can hold it in a number of different ways. It has a slight textured or slight grip to the rubber itself, which makes it nice when you're in wet conditions. And also, the other thing I like is, and this is where some people actually may not like this uh, saw as much, but I like the fact that this is primarily, aside from the blade and probably the locking lug itself, this is an all-plastic bodied thing. And that's really nice because, one, plastic is lighter than metal, but also, two, in the winter, what I like is that there's not really that many cold spots to touch with this knife, so, or this knife, with this saw. So when you're holding it, or you're holding it up here, you're holding it wherever, you're not coming into contact with any cold metal like the Silky Big Boy that I have, or like most of the Silky saws in general. This uh, saw is a very comfortable and always mild tempered uh, instrument. So anyways, there's really not too much to say about this little guy. I really love the Laplander, and honestly, the biggest thing is I wish I would have got one of these years ago, because since I got this thing, it's honestly been finding its way into my big cargo pocket with me going bushcrafting just about everywhere, because like I said, it's in such a convenient form factor, and it's such an effective tool that it's really hard to not just throw it in your pocket because you can carry it out into the field and barely even know it's there until you need it. And when you need it, you have a really, really effective tool that allows you to go through wood like this within, uh, within seconds as opposed to minutes. 
and it also allows you to do more bushcrafting tasks with greater ease. So anyways, guys, definitely check out a Baco Laplander if you don't already have one of these things. These are incredibly invaluable. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.